Intervención. Thank you, Pam. That was a good description of us, I think. Um, I'd like to start out by congratulating all the fellow nominees, uh, or inductees rather, Brad, Derek, Owen, Todd, Mark. It's a great honor to be here today with you all. I stand here today, 25 year, years removed from my breakthrough appearance on this very same court. The year was 1984, and a young upstart from Puerto Rico <laughs> had reached the finals of the Virginia Simpson Newport as a lucky loser. No Puerto Rican female had ever made a living playing professional, athlete, playing professional sports. I stood alone as I ventured to blaze the trail for others to follow, yet surrounded by tremendous support. My parents flew in for what was the most important occasion of my young career, and an entire nation watched the beginning of an unprecedented journey for a Hispanic girl. A few wrinkles and gray hairs later, as a proud mother of twins, Madison and Carson, I stand here today, and as I imagined when I wrote this speech, I am awed by the occasion. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Being part of the 2010 Hall of Fame class became a reality because I was touched by count countless people who made it possible, and I, I would like to acknowledge some of those people now. I would, of course, like to start with my family, because the greatest sacrifice that any athlete makes in pursuit of their passion is, is giving up their family, or sacrificing spending time with their family. To each of my family members, all 48 that are here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for coming and gathering here today. In particular, I'd like to point out my siblings, um, Gabriel and Patty, who supported my career, of course, and have been great friends and supporters of me since I retired. I have also want to acknowledge my brother, Carlos, who is for sure my number one fan. Um, I think he was more depressed than I was when I, when I retired. <laughs> um, to my dad, everyone wonders um, how I got the hands that Pam mentioned. And I'd like to tell you a story. When I was a little girl, my dad, we had a tennis court in our house, and my dad used to take me out in the afternoons, and he would stand me on one service line, and he would stand on the other server lines, in the other service line with a bucket of balls, and he would proceed to try to hit me with the balls. He was just like start drilling balls on me, trying to hit me. And it was a game that we played when I was, you know, eight, nine, and I was trying not to get hit. But in the process of doing that, I started to develop uh, my reflexes, which became my trademark and my biggest asset. So thank you, Dad, for that. Um, of course, my mom, who I take after in many, many ways, including my athletic ability. She wanted to make sure that I said that. <laughs> But it's true. And she was with me um, throughout all my junior tournaments. And um, my parents never pushed me. But I have a story that I want to tell you about my mom when I was 16 years old. And I became way more interested in boys and friends and driving cars. Um, the Pan Am Games were in Puerto Rico that summer. And my mom gently, and I had completely ignored tennis. I, had, I hadn't been practicing for a while. My mom pulled me aside and said, you know, Gigi, you have a lot of talent. And it would be a real shame if you didn't play in the Pan Am Games. It was not a push or a demand, but it did the trick. I started practicing again. I played and became the youngest Puerto Rican to medal at the Pan Am Games. So none of, the, none of my accomplishments would have been possible without the support of both my parents. So thank you, Mom, and thank you, Dad. To my... To my longtime agent, Fred, Fred Sharp, who was like a second dad to me while I was on the tour, and he's here somewhere, I th Fred is here somewhere, I think. Um, and to my coach, Peter Moore, who I can tell you that Natasha and I are the reason he has lost most of his hair. <laughs> Thank you to both of you. And to others who supported my career, in particular Herb, I can't say enough about how important your support system was to be able to achieve this moment. And even though my career ended as our union started, I would be remiss if I didn't mention and acknowledge the support that I've received from Jane since I retired. This is a proud moment, not just for me and my family and friends who have gathered here today, but also a proud moment for Boricuas living in Puerto Rico and abroad. I enter the Hall of Fame as an American, proud of my Puerto Rican heritage and holding both flags in my heart. I am thrilled that the Hall of Fame decided to dedicate this year to doubles because I would not have wanted to be here without Natasha. As I was going through my garage gathering memorabilia for the museum, I came across a letter I wrote Natasha the year I, uh, the year I retired, which clearly defines what made us a great team, and I would like to read an excerpt from it now. Natasha, you and I are the second best team in history because we have a special connection. 
something that cannot be explained. We have an amazing capacity for understanding each other, even though we are polar opposites, as well as a canny talent to rise to the occasion and come up with something special when the chips were down. We won not because we were the best two players in the world pairing up for doubles, or because we always played our best, but, but because we hung in there and found a way. This is what made us a great, a great team and what makes anyone a great team. A team consisting of two people trying their hardest and doing the best they could on that day. Sometimes that meant Natasha had to carry the slack, sometimes it meant I had to carry the slack, but no one ever kept score. Thank you to the Hall of Fame committee for selecting us and to the many fans around the world who supported our careers. And without further ado, I'll leave you with Natasha, who by the way, probably most of you don't know this, but she's also the mother of six-month-old Mia. Hello, everyone. Um, it just about leaves me with a, how much, 20 seconds? or that's, <laughs> that's perfect. All right, enough of the sentiments. Um, I'm very proud to actually be a first Belarusian athlete to be inducted into International Ten Tennis Hall of Fame. Um, thank you. Thanks. I have to say, if it wasn't for Gigi um, and her endless capability of mentally opening me up uh, and uh, her perseverance to succeed in it, we would never be here. Even though I refuse to go to a psychiatrist sessions with you. <laughs> but uh, this is in a good way. <laughs> um, I never thought that we could achieve something like this. Um, I just uh, basically tried to play tennis. Um, the, the whole, whole of my career. Uh, the phrase of opposite attracts is actually a perfect description of our team. And um, she's a fire and I'm an ice. So <laughs> uh, thank you to uh, uh, a Hall of Fame uh, people who actually got me legally into this country <laughs> <laughs> because my visa uh, problem went on and on, but it finally got resolved, so I'm really happy to be here. And I can play the open a little later on. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for having me here, and um, uh, I want to say thank the, I want to say thank you to all of my friends that came. Uh, everyone knows who they are. <laughs> and uh, my second most favorite coach, Juan Nunez, who actually got us to play together. He thought it would be a, a good idea, and it turned out to be the best idea. So, um, and I want to say a couple of things in Russian. Папа, спасибо большое, что ты меня привел в этот спорт. И я очень люблю тебя. Маме спасибо большое. И очень люблю Олега, Олежка. Люблю тебя и маленькую Мию. Thank you. Спасибо. Спасибо. Come on out here, lady. Okay, guys, thank you.